Hello everybody, this is Bergback coming to you with another StarCraft 2 commentary. In today's matchup, we will have Mad Frog spawning as the Blue Terran. Or, whoa, Blue Terran? Blue Zerg, I am sorry. Uh, going up against, as you see in the, the text there, Stiggen spawning as the Red Zerg. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, Stiggen. Um, I'm sure people in the comments below will say, No, no, that's wrong, Bergback. So, uh, you know, if I am pronouncing it wrong, just please let me know and I will corrected if I uh, cast any more from this player. Uh, but it is a ZVZ on Delta Quadrant, and I don't do a whole lot of mirror matches, but I figured, you know, since we do have Mad Frog here, that it might be okay if I do that. So uh, let me know if you want more Mad Frog plays. I am going to be trying to find more, and it was really nice to see that Mad Frog has some replays up. So, uh, we'll go from there as both uh, sides are starting to scout out. Of course, we see that automaton down there. Wave to the camera. And uh, Mad Frog is going in the correct direction. And it looks like Stiggen now going in the right direction with another Overlord starting to go down. And these two over uh, Overlords might be high-fiving in the air as they pass by each other. Those nice big blimps of gas just passing around. Uh, getting ready to, to say hi to each other. And we do have a drone now coming out from Mad Frog to start scouting as well. Of course, a lot faster. He doesn't see anything up there. Of course, I don't know why you would see anything that close up. But, regardless, spawning pool coming down for Stig Gen here. As a spawning pool also coming down for Mad Frog as we start bulking up here for the continue, uh, the the play here. This is a best of three between them, uh, so I'll try to cast all of the all of the games in this matchup between the two uh, competitors here. This is from the ESL Pro Series Nordic. Uh, I think I said that. I'm not sure if I did, so if I'm repeating myself, I do apologize. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. This is just like a weekly matchup for the Nordic people, just to kind of get points and uh, for ESL and whatnot. So. We'll see how this goes between the three, uh, between the two here on the best of three, and it looks like uh, Stiggen going for that metabolic boost early. Uh, well, not early, but uh, it looks like also that Mad Frog going for that uh, Roachworn instead of the speed boost on his Zerglings. And as we see here, Mad Frog just starting to push up with these Zerglings, starting to go up in the the base as we have four Zerglings against four Zerglings. What's going to happen here? Oh, we got two more going in here as Mad Frog starting to chase around, starting to scout out in the base, just going around trying to go after some of these drones. And uh, two Zerglings going down as that Queen just starts to manhandle that last Zergling trying to run out. Two more Zerglings in here for Mad Frog as he's forced to get out of there as these uh, eight Zerglings start to chase after uh, Mad Frog's units. So Mad Frog getting a nice little lowdown here on the map, just sending in a, a whole bunch of overlords just to scout out and see what's coming in as he does see these eight Zerglings just starting to come in with that one little overlord, just kind of looking over and say, hey guys. And uh, now we have these Zerglings just starting to come in, a queen in here to try and help defend, getting into the drones, trying not to get hit by these Zerglings. As we see the Zerglings just racing out, running away, as a roach now up, chasing out these Zerglings, going to have the better hand here as we do see a couple of them down low on HP. We are down to five Zerglings now. So he did get three down as we see more Roaches coming up in uh, for Mad Frog here. And it looks like more going to be coming on the way as that Larvae starts going down as well. We do have a Banely Nest also coming down for Mad Frog, so it should be interesting if we get to that point. It looks like uh, more Roaches on the way here for Mad Frog as Stiggen is going for that expansion right outside the base, leaving it pretty open to anything. Doesn't look like he has a whole lot of units out here. Just has those little bit of Zerglings. As these two guys, these two overlords, just kind of sitting pretty there, just waiting and talking it out, saying, hey, can I have your number? And uh, just looks like they're uh, just sitting there talking to each other. As we do have a bunch of Zerglings out here for Stiggen, uh, just kind of waiting it out, seeing what Mad Frog's going to be doing. Of course, he does have that overlord right here, can see what's going on here, does see all of those roaches. Uh, knows that there is no expansion out yet. We do have some Banelings up here. Of course, Stiggen cannot see them as of yet. And uh, just going to be interesting here to see how these Banelings go in with these uh, Roaches. See what uh, they are now for, uh, 
morphed in. So we're going to start bringing them in. No creep, of course, so this is like slow motion here. As it looks like Zerglings starting to come in, exploding one, getting rid of one of the Zerglings. Bringing them in, going to see if we can explode another one. Oh, going after. Yeah, explodes, taking out a lot, like five Zerglings as we go in here. So we are narrowing down the amount of Zerglings as we do have Stiggen just splitting up just a little bit. We do have... Yeah, he does have a couple in a group here, just kind of bringing them around and uh, trying to surround, going after that Bailing. Bailing does get up, does uh, does get up in time and starts heading up towards Stigjen's base. And it looks like these Roaches just taking down whatever's coming up to him before these these Banelings even need to be used. And we do have some spine crawlers up here as the uh, Ooh, as the Banelings start to get through, they do explode, doing a little bit of damage to those spine crawlers. The Roach is starting to get around, getting away from those spine crawlers. Roach is just getting out of the way, going after those queens now, as it looks like Stigjen just pulling out. We do have a couple. Oh, we do have some Roaches coming down here for uh, Mad Frog. As Mad Frog's coming into the mineral line, forcing these drones off the mineral line. Roaches are down. All the units down here actually went down as more Zerglings coming up. And these Roaches just going to town on that spawning pool without anything going after them. Of course, they are walled off, uh, backed into the corner here, so they can't get surrounded. But they start doing a lot of these queens doing damage to the Roaches. These Zerglings just dancing around ever so much, trying to do as much damage to these Roaches as possible. Looks like they are going to take them down, though. And that spawning pool is saved. We have a Baneling Nest up here for uh, Stiggen as well. So we're just going back and forth between the two builds as we have Spine Crawler out here as well onto this expansion just to guard out a little bit as Stiggen starts to bring in his uh, his Zerglings. And more Roaches coming down the ramp here for Mad Frog as Mad Frog's just going to go crazy with the <laughs> with these amount of Roaches morphing in a couple more Banelings just to bring them in. And we do have a couple Zer uh, 10 Zerglings coming in here. So a handful of Zerglings just coming in for Mad Frog as he starts going around. We do have a Roach Warren now coming down from Stigjan, but I'm not sure if it's just too little too late here as we do have a bunch of Roaches just starting to come in, going around those spine crawlers, just coming into the back here and uh, forced to cancel that extractor as it looks like this hatchery is probably going to go down. We don't have a whole lot being produced here, just a couple of Zerglings, but it's going to be too late as this expansion is going down. And he is taking those Zerglings down below here, trying to go after these Banelings. Banelings explode! And bye bye, Zerglings, as we go on here. Roaches take out this expansion. And a queen just forced to retreat ever so ever so sluggishly with these spine crawlers as pushing Stiggen back into his main base here. And Stiggen looks like he does have the GG. Uh, oh, he sees all those banelings coming in. He knows he has nothing to counter that, and he, and he uh, decides to leave the game. So a uh, really good game here. Nice action-packed game between the two of them. Uh, really nice baneling roach action coming from Mad Frog as, uh, as the game progressed. Of course wasn't that big of a game, long of a game, but really good use of uh, those banelings just forcing them to explode on them as more were coming in. Oh, that, that's just crazy. So uh, we will be moving on to game number two, so uh, I'll see you then, guys. Take care.